What's up you guys, it's Jaden here, Moonlight Craftsman Channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to quickly grind and polish an outside corner weld on stainless steel. Here we go. So the material that we're gonna to use today is 16 gauge stainless steel. It's about 0.06 inches thick. So this tutorial is primarily for thinner gauge materials, but this joint, might be something that um, you'd see on a box, a lid, um, uh, corners of a countertop, a uh, number of different uh, applications that you're going to see an outside corner weld like this that you might want uh, polished, uh, smooth, and blended. So, uh, just taking a look at this, uh, this is exactly what we have here is an open corner. Uh, which is good for polishing as well as the half lap where one side uh, uh, laps over one side halfway. Those two I would recommend for thinner gauge and uh, the full lap I would not recommend if you're going to grind and polish the weld because uh, it's possible that you would grind all the uh, weld off and then you'd end up with a crack. So now this might be useful for over eighth inch thick. You could, you know, grind the inside of this piece and the ins and the outside of this piece and and um, three sixteenths or quarter inch thick material. You might want to use this instead. But uh, this here, the open corner, it's also easier for layout. You don't have to make uh, adjustments. Uh, so uh, if you don't need to weld the inside then I just go ahead and go with open corner because uh, it makes just laying out the the uh, blank piece of material a little bit easier. So I've got the joint ready to weld. I've got it tacked. Uh, if there's a little bit of gap in here that I want to tighten up, I can go ahead and uh, tap it directly on the tacks. You don't want to hit on the face because you're going to put a mark, but uh, pretty much at a 45 degree angle, to the joint just hit those tacks and you can tighten it up a little bit i have aluminum behind it a piece of aluminum angle and aluminum plates here that'll dissipate some of the heat prevent warping and keep the joint held where it needs to be so i'll go ahead and weld this right now i'm at about 50 to 60 amps for 16 gauge and using 035 Stainless steel TIG rod. So there you are, nothing fancy. We're getting ready to grind it off anyways. But um, yeah, that's a little bit dark. I think I'm a little bit low on argon, but that'll be um, good to go for grinding and polishing. All right, so I'm gonna bring it up to the camera one more time just to see what we're working with before we get started on grinding. So hopefully you can see that. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to put some uh, blue tape just on either side of the weld. Just only as far as I want to grind. And so what the blue tape does is it kind of gives me a, a something to follow with my eyes. And then, you know, by chance if you kind of get a little bit out of whack, you might damage the metal a little bit less. So yeah, that's kind of what that looks like. All right, then 
you can use a regular angle grinder and about 120 grit. I got 120 grit on this little air grinder. So, using the blue tape as a guide, like we talked about, I'm just going to go. Uh, the wheel's going in this direction, so on this side, I'm going to go on this side and just kind of round it over a little bit. I'm getting right up to my blue tape, and I'm taking away... Uh, all the weld so there's no uh, any indication that there's any weld left there so I'll show you one side I ground that and that's what the other side looks like not ground yet do the other side real quick I flipped my material over good now I'm going to switch this out to a conditioning disc this is the maroon color 3m uh, scotch bright just go over it again Take your tape off. Let me show you. So that's what it looks like. All right, but now we got that color on there. So we got to take that color off and that's what we're going to do next. All right, so we need to take the color off the weld now. I've got the piece clamped up here in the vise, uh, but we also want to maintain the brush that's also in the material. So we got a couple different options. We can use just a scotch bright pad and do it by hand. We could use a big wheel like this. Uh, this is a DynaBraid DynaSure. Or you can use one of these wheels in a drill or a uh, air tool. This is what I'm going to use because it's pretty easy and probably accessible to most everyone. So like I said, just wanting to keep with the grain. We're going to go this way and then over here on this side the grain goes that way so we'll do it this way. Get the top here, and we'll get the side. Just like that, that's not too bad. I'll bring it up to the camera to show you. Got the grain going this direction this way, grain going this direction, and there you go. That's how you grind and polish an outside corner weld. So if you guys got any value out of this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one.